you know, cable shows have like shorter seasons, so getting to that hundredth episode, I feel is like even extra special. You know, what's it like for you, from your perspective? Extra special, it's like a, like a special sauce on a, a burger from some unknown burger chain. I won't mention. It it's, it's, was great. I mean, we just were doing one show at a time. We never knew in one season whether there would be another season, so it happened a little at a time. And I just, they tell me it's very rare in cable, and we should be very pleased and proud, and I am. But I'm also sorry I won't do it anymore, because I, I feel like we have so much, so many directions to go in now, and it's such fruitful ground. We could go, we could keep going, but, you know, it's not, it isn't my choice. If it was my choice, I'd go to work for the next three years on the show. I, I really enjoy the experience. I love the people I work with. I love my part. I love the way my guy has grown. I'd like to see him into, you know, retirement as a detective with an office back with the autos and the pickles in his bar. But that's not what's going to happen. Uh, I'm a logical positivist. It was great. It's been great. I've enjoyed it. And uh, next. Well, I mean, with your character, um, they incorporated your uh, music, uh, love of music, and your, uh, you know, they did. ability to play. How is that? Well, I got a. Uh, I told myself, I went in when Jan Nash, the new showrunner, started three years ago, and I had a few ideas, and I had them in my smartphone, and I didn't want to forget them, and I didn't want to talk too long, so I pitched four, four things. She did all of them. So then I thought, holy cow, I'm going to be very careful what I say to this woman, but it was the music, it was the retirement, it was a couple of other ideas, that all of which, she, that I thought about a lot before I pitched them, and they showed up, all of them. So, and it, you know, I got, I got a great start out of it. And the music thing, I mean, my, my mother, who just recently passed away for a couple of years, but she always wanted me to get my music out there. You know, I was always playing for her and around the house. But for her. I don't want to go out and be a roadie and carry my own stuff and stay up later than I want to. So to do it in the, in the context of the show, and I've got to say, when I did do it, it was very appropriate. It wasn't stuck on, and it, and it was it was really fun for everybody. It really was. I'll never forget the first time I did it, and I don't think any of them knew that I played and sang. I didn't knew they'd hear me playing the guitar. But I'm singing, and they, and they the smart director Norman Buckley shot them reacting to me singing the first time I did it. So they were all like, and they were really beaming. <laughs> Great. So all good. I mean, what kind of director is Angie Harmon? Enthusiastic, uh, fired up, and, and good. And, uh, I was most impressed by the, the quiet direction she gave to other actors. Um, because I know she's instinctively really makes great choices. And to see her articulated in a, a gentle, just slide it in that way with very sophisticated directing, actually. And, and she just was so enthusiastic and loved it. And she's, you'll see, you'll talk to her in a minute, she's pretty fiery. <laughs> I mean, what do we see Korsak doing in the 100th episode? Crying and telling you, oh, God, <laughs> no, we, we solve a murder, you know, as we do every time. We solve a murder, but we're also uh, getting ready. We don't go uh, retiring. That was... Uh, okay, that's for episodes. sure. Okay. We've been talking about it for about a season, and now it's time. So you see the preparation for that. You see him cleaning out his desk. You see all that going on. And, you know, we're looking at the new beginnings, but it's also, it's sad. It's sad for all of us. And at least it's not the kind of sadness where we're all shot dead. You know, which nowadays is like every single day in real life. So, so we're all going on to the next chapter. So that's what you'll see. Well, what about Sasha? What kind of director is she? Very, very, very well prepared. Also very good. Also very enthusiastic. Both of them, they loved it. They, and I, people say, well, what are you direct? I say, because I don't have to. I don't want to. It's hard. I mean, you, you're, you've got to be there all day, every day. you got to answer everybody's questions about things you never thought anybody would have a question about. And they were, I love them both a lot. I, I, we worked obviously so closely for so long. And I was, there was a degree of pride. I was proud of them. And I, was, I wasn't surprised that they were so enthusiastic because they really wanted to do it before I knew it. And so it, was a, it wasn't really surprising, but it was very gratifying. And I was very pleased and, and proud of both of them. And I enjoyed working. Cool. Thank you. Good luck with everything. Thank you very much.